Okay, using the win up high, he's an up high type guy, using that hypothesis that he would have went up here as he had done from the saddle, from the saddle. Okay, if he did this. So he goes up and goes up, the sun starts to set, and the, mo the most he made it when he said, I spent the night up there was right in this area, a uh, possible place to, uh, you know, fall over and get a nap. But he wasn't going to be napping long. He, he would be awake by uh, uh, 10 p.m. quite easily. But let's suppose he did that. Then if you look at the terrain, he would have been up here, not on his spine. He would have been up here uh, looking out into the open. He wouldn't be down in a ravine. He would be he would be up here somewhere in this area. I spent the night up there. Okay, so now he wakes up. He's freezing to death. Now the question is, where could he come down? If, if he woke up and was freezing to death, well, let's keep things in perspective. This is a cell phone mine. If he woke up and was freezing to death, he would have, uh, in, especially in the dark, it leads you uh, downhill and you would think, well, it would have led him right down here, and it may have. And that is why it's, that is one hell of a uh, ravine of interest. But suppose he was wandering along and going over to the side. I don't, I don't think so, because I think he would have used the uh, route that he took when he said, I barely made it down from up there. Uh, but uh, is it possible? that he could have went sideways along the hill and got led down here. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. Um, cell phone mine. Uh, the other thing is that uh, if he suspected cold and that he didn't have a sleeping bag, could he have just simply said to hell with it and did in fact stay down here? Especially he wakes up in the morning and he's all good to go and fresh for pine nuts. Uh, what if he did not leave from this area? Well, problem with that, he would have been found right in the area. So what if he wakes up the next day? Well, I'm not going to go down into this hell hole and instead starts working up. You know, there's just, there's just no way to say. There's just usual disclaimer, I was not there with a drone. But uh, he, I, I don't think he, he went down here and is going to be fucking around over here all over the place. No, I don't, I don't picture it. I, I still think a cell phone mine has the most evidence, especially the rock cairn. Uh, that J. Chuck found. It could have been placed by Kenny Veach. It was perfect. Perfect, and it was relatively new. Well, he was a perfectionist, and uh, it's quite possible when uh, staying here in this area that he could have easily went over here. Let me make sure which one it is. He could have went over there and worked up. This is where the cairn was found. Okay, he could have worked up and in here, place the Karen. Uh, okay, I've got like another hour left of, of daylight and works down. And it is quite possible he stayed in this area. The stuff that was burned in Agave Pit uh, 2 could be partially his, but nobody will date it. It's quite possible he did weather the night here, but he ain't going to get up for no second day uh, facing another night and then keep going. No. No. I don't, I don't think so.